please be sure to subscribe to the channel to update the fastest and most accurate news. Hello everyone, welcome back to my journalism of the hard news channel. The story for today is how are we already at the end of April? This year is absolutely flying by already. One of the reasons why this year has felt so quick is probably because of the massive amounts of quality shows that have been dropping on streaming services. Read more, a closer look at everything coming to stand in April this week, there's a new series from icon Julia Roberts, a farewell to a beloved Netflix show and the return of a Law Order favorite. Get watching, here are our top picks for this weekend, what, starring Academy Award winners, Julia Roberts and Sean Penn, Gaslit offers a new take on the Watergate scandal that focuses on the untold stories and forgotten characters. Read more, Julia Roberts transforms into Watergate whistleblower Martha Mitchell in new political thriller Gaslit the series is expected to expose stories of President Richard Nixon's subordinates, deranged zealots, and the whistleblowers who would eventually bring the whole Watergate enterprise crashing down. The story will focus on Martha Mitchell, Roberts, a celebrity Arkansan socialite with a big personality, with an even bigger mouth and wife to Nixon's loyal attorney general, John N. Mitchell, Penn, despite her party affiliation, Martha is the first person to publicly sound the alarm on Nixon's involvement in Watergate, causing both the presidency and her personal life to unravel. As attorney general, Mitchell is forced to choose between Martha and the president. Based on the first season of the critically acclaimed Slow Burn podcast, the series brings to life the thrilling, stranger-than-fiction tale of marriage, love, betrayal, and ultimately, hope. What, remarkably, Grace Frankie is Netflix's longest-running series, the Jane Fonda and Lily Tomlin-led series, is now its seventh, and final, season. The series follows Grace Hansen, Fonda, a sharp-tongued, retired cosmetics mogul, and Frankie Bergstein, Tomlin, a quirky art teacher, whose long-term husbands, Robert and Sol, are successful divorce lawyers in San Diego, California. Grace and Frankie's lives are turned upside down when Robert and Sol announce they are in love with each other and are leaving their wives. Now the women, who have never particularly liked each other, are forced to live together and experience a series of wacky adventures as they navigate family drama, medical scares, business ventures, and romantic turmoil on their road to becoming best friends. Over seven seasons, they, and us, have laughed together, cried together, did shrooms together, and twice over became successful entrepreneurs together. A history making 94 episodes later, Grace and Frankie continue to show themselves, their families, and their fans what it means to live life to the fullest, fearlessly and unapologetically. Here's to seven seasons of laughs, tears, mood enhancers, and good vibes, and, as Grace and Frankie would say, F.K. it. This may be their final chapter, but they're just getting started. What Law Order, Organized Crime is the seventh series in the Law Order franchise and a spin-off of Law Order and Law Order, Special Victims Unit. The first season of Organized Crime, saw Detective Elliot Stabler, Christopher Maloney, coming out of retirement to fight crime on the streets of New York City again. Many fans said it was a long time coming, read more, why actor Christopher Maloney was unprepared for huge fan reaction to Elliot Stabler's return in Law Order, Organized Crime Season 2 begins with Stabler going undercover as ex-con Eddie Ashes Wagner within the Albanian mob as they aim to take over New York City's cocaine trade. Elsewhere, Richard Wheatley, Dylan McDermott, has only one more hurdle to clear before he is released from prison, while Angela Wheatley, Tamara Taylor, recovers from Morales' poisoning attempt. The series' first season was only eight episodes, but the new season has been supersized to 22. Expect lots of new cases to keep Stabler on his toes, Nine Entertainment Co., the publisher of this website, owns and operates the streaming service Stan. That is all for today news, please make sure to leave your comment and subscribe the channel below for more news update. Thank you for watching.